everybody, I'm Kim O'Rourke, I'm the Recycling Coordinator for the City of Middletown and welcome to Recreation Recycles. This is a program that we do on a monthly basis and we work with the, uh, the Middletown Recreation Department and the Middletown Public Works Department get together and we plan a program to talk about waste reduction and recycling and composting and sometimes we do a craft project and uh, sometimes we give pointers on recycling. So uh, welcome to our December 2021 version of Recreation Recycles. So today we're gonna be talking about the holidays and holiday wrapping. So they're coming, the holidays are coming and whether you celebrate Hanukkah or Christmas or Kwanzaa or just celebrate life, holidays do create a lot of waste. So according to the Center for Biological Diversity, on average, Americans generate 25% more waste between Thanksgiving and New Year's. And that extra waste amounts to 25 million tons of trash. And it's not just the trash that's the problem. We have to consider all the fossil fuels and other natural resources that go into producing these items. So there are ways to reduce waste. Um, and one way is to be thoughtful about the gift giving, the gifts that you give, and the way that you package those gifts. So today we're gonna to talk about ways to reduce waste with our gift giving. So consider the gifts that you're giving to your friends and family, and try to give way, gifts that are low waste. So shop local, choose items with little or no packaging, choose items made ethically with little or no plastic, and choose items that'll last. And consider giving things like experiences or skills or memberships or visits to somewhere. For instance, if you're good at cooking, um, make a meal or make some cookies or make um, somebody's favorite uh, dessert, something that they can really enjoy. If you're crafty, um, make something. <laughs> Where's my craft? I lost it. Maybe this is a cute uh, painted rock that somebody gave me that I absolutely love, but make something that somebody will enjoy. And if you're a good knitter or crocheter, people love hats and gloves and scarves, absolutely. If you're good at repairing things, uh, offer to repair something. Uh, I know that I could use that. Um, otherwise, you can give a membership to a gym or a membership to their favorite museum, uh, donate to their charity, or to their favorite charity, or um, uh, have a, give them a, a day where you do a day trip together or do something together. A lot of times that will be more meaningful than a, uh, you know, a, a, a plastic item that isn't gonna last forever. So once you have the present, consider the wrapping. And if you choose to give a physical present, um, think about how you're gonna wrap it. So if every American family wrapped just three presents in reused materials, it would save enough paper to cover 45,000 football fields. Um, believe it or not, 4.6 billion tons of wrapping paper is disposed every year, and it's not recyclable. It's not accepted in the recycling. You might have a special place to bring wrapping paper separately, like in Middletown, Rebu Eco is going to accept wrapping paper separately, but it does not go in the, re the regular recycling. So the most sustainable way not to use wrapping paper is not to use wrapping paper. So think about giving gifts without wrapping paper, maybe just tie it with a bow, make it look pretty. Uh, not everybody needs their, their uh, gifts uh, wrapped up in paper. Use something natural to decorate it with. Um, or you can use something else instead of uh, wrapping paper. So like you can wrap something in a, uh, I, I try to make the, the, the wrap part of the present. So you can use like a produce bag, you can use cloth napkins, which make a great wrap. You can use beeswax wraps, which can make a good wrap. Or you can put something in, like a reusable silicone bag or um, a snack bag. You can
can put the gift right in a snack bag and then they have two, two gifts in one. You can also uh, purchase, if you wanted to, a reusable cloth bag. You can make one or you can buy one, a reusable cloth bag to put the gifts in. They, off, they also have the really, really big ones. So if you're giving a lot of presents to somebody, you could uh, get one of the really large bags and just put all the presents in that and they can take them out one at a time instead of each one being individually wrapped. Now also you can, there's a lot of um, videos on the internet about wrapping gifts in cloth fabric. So it's really simple to do, and that also is a great way to wrap the gifts. And the, this one was wrapped in a bandana, so you can reuse the bandana. This one was wrapped in a cloth napkin, so you can reuse that again. So those are great ways to uh, use fabric that is reusable. You can also be creative with your packages. You can put something in a canning jar for um, the package, or you can get a cute little basket and put the gifts in the basket and then just decorate it. If you, um, another, other suggestions and what I do throughout the year is I keep the cute little boxes that I get for gifts or, you know, for whatever, and I save them and then I can use them if I need to, to put gifts in and they don't necessarily need to be wrapped. You can also wrap them up in brown paper bags and tie it with twine. And I apologize, I forgot to tie this up, but tie it with twine and put a little um, a piece of evergreen or something from the outside on it and it makes a real pretty gift. And then if you, uh, one thing that we do for the ties is we save our Christmas cards and make little gift tags out of them. And then that's what we use to label the presents. And that way you don't have to use stickers or plastic uh, name card holders or little stickers that you put on the presents. Or you can use seed cards. These are little um, cards that have seeds in them so they can be planted and then flowers will come up. So that's another way that you can name your presents. Um, another way is to just cut the toilet paper roll, and I can demonstrate this. Uh, cut a little piece of it, and then you can use it as a round and attach that to the present with the person's name on it. And that with um, a paper bag wrapping with a little piece of evergreen on it is a really pretty natural gift for people. So you can get really creative with your wraps. But again, if you don't have time, don't wrap it. You don't need to stress. It's a thought that counts and you don't have to spend a million hours shopping and wrapping. So I hope this was helpful and gives you some good ideas so that you don't generate 25% more waste during the holidays this year. If you have ideas that have worked for you, send them to me at uh, my email, recycling at middletownct.gov, and I'll be happy to put them up on our website. We're going to have an information sheet on our website along with this video, and uh, we'll include the sources for all our statistics and all kinds of ideas about wrapping gifts and other tips to reduce waste for the holidays. So, um, no matter what you're celebrating, I hope you have a wonderful, sustainable um, holiday and a happy new year, and we will see you in 2022. Thanks for watching.